Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore the latest release of an open source project called Hugging Chat. You would have been using open AI, powerful large language models like you know GPT-3, 3.5 or GPT-4. But here is the thing, right? It is not open source. However, the open source community has stepped up and released second version of Hugging Chat. A remarkable open source alternative based on you know similar techniques and this project that you currently see on my screen right the brings the power of large language models to the hands of developers and researchers fostering collaboration and innovation for the open source community so what exactly is hugging chat if you have worked with hugging chat earlier they they have released a version uh, 0.2 now but they earlier have the first version so it's an open source chatbot based on open assistant models okay so there have been open assistant model they have open assistant.io as well where they have all these pythia models and different large language models that they have okay it's it's again by the team of yannick kilcher and the people who are working with him he also has a youtube video yannick kilcher you can also uh, refer that uh, youtube channel as well and basically hugging chat you know can engage in meaningful and contextually rich conversation just like chat gpt assisting users with a wide range of tasks and much more you know so you know, let's see what are the new features we are talking about uh, hugging face again hugging face and hugging chat here it is again deployed on hugging face if you see now if you just come back on hugging face dot code slash chat you have to sign in with your hugging face account so you need a hugging face account you can see i have logged in with ai anytime and you also have to have an account on hugging face to basically use this use this you know interactive chatbot that's called hugging chat you can see there are some updates now this chat ui is also now open source now suppose for example if you want to create your own you know chat gpt like bot and you need a similar design kind of a thing this UI is also available on GitHub repository. So when you click on that, you can see chat UI, hugging face chat UI that they have developed over there. They had, you know, they also give, uh, have given that in open source. Okay, so you can see it's npm install. You have to have node install, and that's how you are, that's how you have to do it over here. So if you come down, everything that is very good documentation. The readme is there. You can set it up locally, and if you want to develop a similar UI, please go ahead and fork that repository, and you can start working on that. Okay. Now, if you see, it says current model, you know, open assistant, you know, Llama 30B, trainable parameters. Now, if you click on model page here, so it will take you to open assistants, you know, uh, Llama 30B XOR model here. Now, if you click on open assistant, they have multiple models over here. You can see they have 16 models. They have Pythia, they have, you know, this uh, different type of models. But I think, you know, Hugging Chat is again built on the, this model, okay, 30B XOR. And you can read about the process. You can find the model checkpoints if you want to set it up locally. If you have a machine that will help you run this model, please go ahead and do that. You need VRAM, you need a virtual RAM to run this uh, this model as well. You need a good computer there to run this, good machine to set it up and run this. These are the requirements, sentence piece, transformers, torch, etc. And also, they have given you how to run and set it up. Now, let's jump in and let's see what kind of questions we can ask and are we getting... You know, at least a near response that when we talk about chat GPT. Okay, so let's ask first question, guys. My first question is, okay, so let me ask this question. Okay, write, a, I'll first start with a coding example here. Write a Python code. Write a Python code to convert a JSON file to a CSV file. Okay, uh, this is what I am going to CSV file please use you know okay let's also do uh, please load the csv file so please load the csv file and write a function for exploratory data analysis exploratory data analysis now this is my first query okay this is what i'm asking to hugging chat and it says say or here is some sample python code that you can use to read in a json file parse its content into the pandas data frame and then export the resulting data as a csv file you can see it's also giving you and 
I really loved it, guys. Okay, it's it's using explore explorate here. You can see explore explore table and using explorate, which helps you give you know some high level explanation about your data, which is which is good. Please note that I have removed the code details related to uh, converting the data because according to Rasmussen, a man who boosts about his conquest isn't always as great as he makes himself out to be. It looks like most of the uh, most of this would already work with very minor. Okay, this is good. Now if you can see here we have this JSON load loading the print data convert the. So now if we can see we have got our code. So you know UI you can find it over here as we discussed. And text generation inference is again powered by you know uh, uh, open assistant model, and you know text generation inference that you see also powers the optimized inference. This looks good. The UI is again very similar to you know, at least Chat GPT. I'll say there's not much difference, but this looks rich. The UI is very rich. Okay, so now let's ask some other questions as well. I'll ask some other questions. Uh, can you? write a prompt for mid journey for example mid journey to generate to generate an image of humanoid you know in the portrait mode or something Yes, here is a prompt suitable for open AI mid journey. So here you can see it's hallucinated. Okay, mid journey is not by open AI, but it's hallucinated. So I just wanted to show you, right? Hallucination is a big problem when it comes to large language models. Even Chat GPT hallucinates. All other models hallucinates as well. But anyway, moving on, you can see we have got our prompt here. This says a uh, big prompt that is given landscape view with mountain 8K panorama mid JPG format no compression. Okay, so this looks good. Okay, but you can see it. It also hallucinates. Now let's come. Let's do one thing. Let's take a McKenzie article and see if it can, you know, basically summarize that. So I'm just going to come here and McKenzie. Okay, I'll just come, and I will just take this link and I will say, can you, excuse me, can you summarize, can you summarize this article for me? Okay, when I article for me. And I have given this. The article discusses the use of artificial intelligence in operations forecasting, particularly in situations where data is limited. Let it generate, guys. This is not my main, you know, uh, agenda behind this question that I have asked. My task is okay. Let's copy the same prompt. I will have the same prompt here, okay? And I will just replace this. You know, for example, data light environment. I will just put data light something. And let's see if it still gives you the summarization. See, hallucinated because I'm 100% sure that you know this link does not exist. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. And what's the problem of this large language models when coming to this interactive chatbot? Because they hallucinate. Now you can see what I have done. I have basically have copied this, and it says page not found. So page not found, but this. Hugging chat still shows you the summarization of this article, which is again hallucination. How it's doing it? It's going through this URL, and you can see it's reading this AI-driven operations forecasting in data light something. Now you can understand what I'm talking about, isn't it? So it hallucinates as well. Now let's take a YouTube video and see if it has some connections with YouTube. If they have any integration with YouTube, you know, API, DL, or by any means, right? To see if it can summarize some video. Let me take this video only. So I'll take this video of Elon Musk. I'll come back here. Can you summarize this video or something like this? Can you summarize? So summarize this video, and now we'll see if it's able to summarize. But as an artificial language model, I am unable to watch videos or access. So it cannot access YouTube. That's completely fine. I am okay with it. But you can you can see that it hallucinates. Let's ask a question. So there are two. You know uh, how to put it. There are two humans, humans, one male, and the other is female. You know, have been shortlisted for the interview. Shortlisted for the interview. 
for a position of for a position of nurse okay in the hospital in the hospital whom would you select whom would you select if you are the approver okay now this is the question that i have asked this is my prompt okay, let's see okay uh, i'm using grammarly here by the way okay over in order to determine who to choose among the two candidates more information regarding their qualification the final selection should be based solely on part and merit fit for the role okay so i was just checking about little bit of the ethical consideration here if it's what kind of responses we are getting let's ask one more question here guys can you write a code generation code generation code in streamlit using a lstm model for example using a l an lstm model please create a sample data dot data set dot txt with 100 python function let's call this 50 for now we have to look at the maximum number of tokens as well 50 python functions and then train the lsta model and finally write the streamlit code for inference to generate code to generate new code okay code generation task it's giving you something for ethical concerns surrounding copyrights this that or something it has given you okay which i don't really feel that this is a right response in my views okay if you ask the same question to chat you i don't see any wrong in this prompt basically you are i was seeking a help that how you can create an architecture a deep learning architecture you know of, again built on lstm to generate code so it's given you some you know a uh, valuable advice there that hugging chat will not do that but chat gpt does but that's completely fine with me and it it's it has good number of you know uh, maximum output tokens as well you can see it's able to give you you know large responses as well and this this looks good the speed is also very good guys so you can see we have also checked that it hallucinates we have also worked with the coding here okay, let me just come down okay it's it's still generating you okay so let it go let me just type the next question maybe okay can you suggest five words from the dictionary where each words must be eight letters and the fifth letter of each word must be h okay so here here are five example okay society history uh elementarily can you suggest five words from the dictionary where each words must be eight letters and the fifth letter of each word must be eight it's wrong wrong answer guys okay so now you can understand right so it's i mean i think we should not compare this with chat gpt at this moment or at least chat gpt when it's backed by gpt4 so what i will do uh i will give the link in the description of hugging chat it's good you know it's open source we can fine tune this open assistant models you know the models checkpoint can be find here you can find even if we have the infrastructure on our data and then we already have the ui uh, here available on chat ui okay that we can leverage and build a similar chatbot kind of a thing so i think this is what i wanted to do you in this video guys this is a review video kind of a video there is no something that i have built this is a review video i wanted to cover this so you can also play around you know this tool hugging chat let me know your views 
okay your analysis and your findings maybe in the comment box what's your opinion do you think that we should compare this with chat gpt or should we keep it separate and keep on building uh, just for open source you know strengthening the open source community let me know your views guys okay i hope you like the video if you like the video please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe please share the video and channel with your friends and to peer that's all for today's video guys thank you so much for watching